yes yeah, so we have a working machine here unfortunately the mouse isn't working so it's not moving even though i'm touching the board the mouse seems to be stable at the same place so what we are going to do is to fix this problem and to fix your mouse it could either be software issue or hardware related but this one is hardware related so i'm going to take you through the hardware related then we'll also do the software related for software related all you have to do is to just go to your start button and then when you go to your start button just go to control panel so now that the mouse isn't working you just have to use your keyboard let's go to let's go to control panel okay so you use a tab to switch uh, go to control panel then from control panel what you need to do is to use the tab to help you navigate to you actually need to change it to mouse so what what we have to do aha uh -huh. so category you keep pressing tab until it comes to category then you go to um you change it to large icons or small icons any one of them and immediately when you change it to large icon or small icon what happens is uh, you look for mouse so you look for the mouse i think so once you can navigate to mouse over here mouse so when you click the mouse unable to connect to semantics part function device driver now this when you are able to detect this it means it's a hardware problem if you install the ps2 pointing device please on install because there is no communication between the driver and the device so this is a hardware related problem so this is how come i know it's hardware so if it wasn't hardware it would have opened for us to troubleshoot using the software so if you want to uninstall we will say no now opens this for us the next thing you could do is to switch to the hardware then what you could do is press tab and it's saying something still mouse not working so let's press mouse again. No. Tab. Then you point to the hardware. We're using the first one, the HID compliant mouse. That's the installed one. It doesn't say anything. So let me OK it again. No. And shift tab to go up then we can change to the hardware so let's go to properties and and properties you just have to disable driver we want to disable the driver and uninstall it disable and re enable so press driver then you see it's there's nothing in the driver's column there's nothing in the driver's column um, so press tab change settings 
and shift tab to go up okay so what you could do is tab 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 disable driver so when you come to disable driver disabling then you yes it then you come back to enable it now when you enable and you check and it's not working then you know it's actually a hardware related problem so now that we know we are going to open the machine and fix the hardware part if it's not hardware this disabling and it only a uh, re-enabling it should solve it thank you as we go through the hardware part